All right. Wow, 2011. Game's so fucking old. Sachi is my pride and joy. I cannot believe I was able to read that. She did do anything for me. I don't think she even re I don't think she even wreck it. Oh, I couldn't read that. But I still love her with all my heart. Uh oh. Rainy evening after school. Ah! What? Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled and she fell. And she died. Oh! This took place in a school called Heavenly Host Elementary. And it wasn't long after that the whole place got shut down. It was then bulldozed to the ground and forgotten. But that elementary school once stood right here. On the site of our own Kisaragi Academy. Hmm. Some say that the teacher still has no idea she is dead, even to this very day and on rainy evenings like this after classes have come to an end. Some claim she roams these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own, okay? In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds. Just after, after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears, always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. Knock, knock, you'll hear from the blackness. Followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. This is like a, it's a ghost story she's telling to her classmates, right? As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... <laughs> it's just thunder, Mochita. Heh. <laughs> So this is sort of like a VM, huh? I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. <laughs> Come on, stop laughing. Uh -huh. Man's a fig tree. It was just bad timing, that's all. You always have the best reactions. I just love telling stories to you, Mochita. It's so rewarding. Yeah, this is this is like an outright anime visual novel. It's the first one we've ever first one we've played on the channel, but you know, it's I guess my, it's uh, about time, right? Too late. My, it really is seven already, and the rain doesn't show any signs of stopping. Can you bring an umbrella, Shig? If not, you're welcome to use mine. Really? Thank you. That would be lovely. Blackout, huh? No, it can't be. <laughs> hey, Satoshi. Aren't you gonna go see? What? Me? Why? Well, I can't do it. I'm paralyzed here. Can't move my legs one inch. I'm scared too, you know. Okay, so there are a few things we should really fix now that I... First of all, the text speed is really fucking slow. Second of all, I kind of want to just turn the voices off. <laughs> like, they're not English, at all, and I don't like getting interrupted. Racist against white people, whose last name is Ketchup. 
The shelves are filled to overflowing with teaching implements. Atop the highest pile, like a keystone, sits the remote control for an overhead projector. I think I'm more scared than you, so I leave this duty to your capable hands. Man, you really are an ass sometimes, you know that? S Satoshi, you want me to come with you? N no, I'll be okay. You don't think Ayumi's story might be true, do you? M Mochita, I don't think you should go. Shiver. Man, what a bunch of fig trees. All fucking laughing at my ass, and then it's like, oh, oh, somebody knocked the door. The knocking is coming from the room at the front of the room. Thanks, game. I know. Ah! Is anyone still here? Time to go home, children. Oh, it's their actual teacher. Who is the exact, who is the exact same height as all of them, but has one pixel de denotating the existence of Booba. I just wanted to join in on all the fun you guys seem to be having. How's the cleanup coming along? Hehe, <laughs> did I scare you? You were telling that old ghost story, right? Your timing was way too good, Miss Yui. Miss Shishido, you've heard the story too? If it's that old tale about Heavenly Lost Elementary School, then of course I have. After all, it wasn't too long ago that I was a student here myself. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. When it comes to the Seven Wonders of Kisaragi High, I'm pretty well versed. They've been around for a long time now. Though I can't take credit for the, bla the blackout. That was just good fortune. Anyway, Mochida. Y yeah I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall who's come to see you. Come on in. Little little sister. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yuko, what are you doing here? Seems Mochita forgot his umbrella this morning, so little Yuko here has come all the way to deliver it. This game is good, the second game is okay, but literally everything else is turned. Is she from the junior high? Nice to meet you, my brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Aw. I had no idea you were such a cute little sister. Sorry, Yuka. It seems like we're still going to be a little while yet. Really? Well, that's okay. I'll help, too. Y you will? Okay, thanks. All right, looks like we've got two extra pairs of hands now. So let's show this mess who's boss. Yeah, all right. Hehe, <laughs> guess you're roping me into this too, huh? Okay, everybody, nice work. Hope you all enjoy your vacation. But try to actually do something with it, okay? Don't just sleep in. Today's Red Bean Cafe was the talk of the cultural festival, so do yourself a hand. Do yourselves a hand. You guys worked hard and it really paid off. You even resisted the urge to bail on cleaning. This old TA couldn't be more proud of you all. TA? Teaching assistant? So she's not a teacher? So, have some coffee milk. Ew. Well, okay, and no, I guess that's probably normal. I brought enough for everybody. You got these from the lunchroom, didn't you? They're kinda lukewarm. My stomach's so gurgly, I don't think milk would sit well with me right now. Suzumoto, I really liked your speech. Best of luck to you at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. Thanks. Won't be the same around here without you, Suzume. So she's transferring. Okay, I was about to say, there's, are they really about to graduate already? They look a little bit too young. She's death flagged. If she's if she's like the really the really good girl who or one of the really good girls, and she's like, oh, I have to go and leave and go and leave, and then like the game kills her. Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try something? It's called Sachi. <sighs> it's called Sachiko Ever After. Who's Sachiko? And what's with the paper doll? This is another one of your occult things. <laughs> kind of. This is... well... It's a charm that I found on the internet. <laughs> no. No, don't do it. She got it straight off of X. Even worse if it's 8chan X. They're even fucking dumber there. <laughs> giant... Giant alien ghost pussy summoning. 
Yep, that's all Shinozaki had to say. Suzumoto was totally bonkers, bonkers for that kind of stuff. Guess it can't hurt. Is everybody okay with this? Yeah, sure. I'm fine with it. Yay, charm. Sure, whatever. Okay, everybody, gather in a circle around this paper sh a Sachiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words. Sachiko, we beg of you. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine times. Don't worry, if you flub it a little, just make sure you don't stop partway through. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less, or the charm will fail. All right, let's get started. Everybody remember the charm? Sachiko, we beg of you, nine times. Ready? Begin. <sighs> Everybody said it nine times? Yep. Exactly nine. Yeah, yeah, let's get on with it. If we don't, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now, everybody, reach towards the paper doll. And grab hold of it anywhere you can. Like this? Exactly. Now hold on really tightly. Dig your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let it go. We're going to pull on it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? On the count of three. One, two, pull. They all die. Nice to done, everyone. Now, just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it into your student ID holder or your wallet. Basically, anywhere it won't get lost. As long as we all have a little piece of Sachiko with us, we'll always be connected with one another as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool? Try super cool. I'll have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. No problem, considered our promise that we'll all that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all get packed up and start heading home. Yes, ma'am. <gasps> yeah, an earthquake! Uh-oh. Eek! What the hell? This is like, holy crap, big! Hope there's no nuclear power plant. Big Brother, I'm scared! Yuka, take my hand! Everyone, stay calm. Get under the desks until it passes. How it feels to live in California. Hurry! They're dead. They're so dead. They're all fucking dead. Ah, the four! Everybody, hang on to something if you can. Eek! What the hell is happening? Can't. Damn it, can't see a thing. Naomi, where are you? Satoshi. Sounds like they got swallowed by a beast. Ugh. Ouch! Ow, ow, my leg. I can't move it, so I guess it's just a sprain. Or I can move it. Huh? What? Where? I'm not at home, am I? It can't be. It's so dark, I can barely see a thing. Is this the school? What's going on? What the hell is this place? Interesting. Okay, so E to open this. Victims. What if this will be like eternal darkness and like everything and like so many things have like Text to read. It's really dark out there. Maybe I should check this room first. What the fuck do you mean? <gasps> is that Seiko? Seiko, Seiko! This isn't good. Seiko, can't you not hear me? I should check this room! I don't understand the momentum. I'm so slow right now. Ow. Ugh, that really hurt. My ankle's in pretty bad shape. Okay. 
Heavenly Post. Third student reported missing. One by one, the young students of Heavenly Host. School seem to be disappearing. As now the third student has joined the ranks of the missing. Classmates testify that fifth grader, blank, was on her way home from school, but got separated from her friends in the hall and hasn't been seen since. Police are investigating the possibility of a serial kidnapping and have assigned countless investigators to the case in hopes of a steady resolution. However, ten days have already passed since the first disappearance, giving parents and classmates ample cause for concern. Yeah, no shit. Thank goodness she's still breathing. Seiko, come on, Seiko, wake up! No. <sighs> Huh? Naomi? What's up? Don't you what's up me? I thought you were dead. Hmm? Uh, where? Where are we? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. <coughs> oh, it ain't budging. These windows are sealed up tight. And it's pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well, this is clearly a school building. Don't the desks seem unusually small to you, though? Like an elementary school. I don't know, the desk sprites look kind of fucking identical. It can't be, can it? <laughs> the printout on the wall. It says, Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. Heavenly Host? Isn't that the elementary school that preceded Kisaragi Academy? The one that was shut down and demolished? Oh god, what's happening? Where the hell are we? And where are our friends? And Miss Yui? <gasps> Calm down, Seiko. Don't get all worked up. Sorry. Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I'd been shaking so hard I could hear my teeth chatter. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something. Anything! No. <laughs> hey, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how about we try finding a way out of here? A way out? Well, we can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all sealed shut. And I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. That reminds me of Danganronpa. Okay then, first step is to leave this room. We've got to keep our spirits up after all. It's probably not just the two of us in here. You know, I wonder if in real life, Japanese, like, characters would ever even vaguely consider talking this mu- Yeah, and if we can reunite with them, we'll find a way out of here together. That's the spirit. I had no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. Character introductions! Direct the eye toward any character and press the action key to learn more about him or her. Satoshi Muchita. Damn! 17. A student in Kisaragi Academy Senior High Class 2A. Man, you could have fooled me about their ages. Because, like, <laughs> all their heads are so giant. Kisaragi Academy Senior High Class 2A, classmate of Satoshi since junior high. Frequently greets Satoshi with, oh, not you again. Having lost her father a few years ago father a few years back. Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. A free spirit, she often says or does things that take others by surprise, though she is also easily forgiven due to her genuine good nature. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of the household. What the fuck is with these parents leaving? <laughs> Yuka Mochita. Fourteen. Though she's little sister. Though she's an 8th grader at the Kisaragi Junior High School, she looks and acts much younger. I was about to say, she acts like she's 10 or younger. What the fuck? Ayumi Shinozaki. The appointed representative of the Kisaragi Academy High Class 
2A often subjects or classmates to ghost stories and revels in hearing them scream. Regarded as sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. Just started this semester after passing her teaching exam and is easier and is eager to make an impression. Wait a sec. Eek! Another earthquake? No! Is it over? Oof! I had enough. Let's just get out of this room. What? What's wrong? This hallway looks totally different than it did before. M maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse? Yeah, maybe. The gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. What the what do we fucking do, motherfucker? Uh, hey, Naomi? Hmm? Is something wrong with your leg? Oh, yeah, I was freaked out. I forgot all about it. I think I might have sprained my ankle. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? I can walk at least. I'm sure it'll heal on its own. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. Here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Yay! Okay, thanks. Oh, there's a bucket. What the hell is this? Pee? Ew, don't say that. There's a yellow fluid congealing in the bucket. I don't think piss congeals, I think puke does, though. I base this on absolutely no information whatsoever. Hey, Naomi, what about that loose board we found? Do you think it would support our weight? Like a bridge? Hmm, I don't know. Seems kind of beat up, but I guess it is pretty solid. Loose board has been set in place. Aha! Fuck you! Kill me. Kill me, game. Help. Help. Me. Huh? You say something, Seiko? Hmm? It wasn't you? I definitely felt a presence of some kind. The stairs beyond this point are piled with rubble. There's no way to go through. Oh yeah, that sure does look like rubble. Why do I change? What is the... How does the momentum work? Like, I'll walk around at this speed, but then sometimes I'll just slow to a crawl, and I don't know why. Ow! What's wrong, Naomi? L look over there! Aren't those bones? Like, people bones? No, Naomi, it's Bony Jones. They really are somebody's bones. No! Seiko. You too. Aha! Blue spirit. Heep! You two are new victims, are you not? A g g g ghost <laughs> Who are you? I was brought here against my will and confined just like you. Where is here? Do you know something about this place? This is a cursed multi-dimensional nexus. Multiple planes of existence all piled on top of one another, created by powerful, vengeful spirits. Closed space, or perhaps closed spaces. You and me as well are the unlucky victims of their twisted whims. We have all been abducted. When I, when like when when I when I think of the title Corpse Party. My assumption is that this was going to be about teenagers going to, like, a party and then, like, the party becomes supernatural. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does that mean everybody else is here, too? Are they okay, I wonder? So our friends are in this school, too? I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others were pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. That means Mochita's here too. I'll bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? No, it doesn't. We're all fucked. However, you cannot meet them. 
They are definitely in this school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space or bringing them into this space. Even then, escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Uh, oh god! Is there no way out of here then? You said we were brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they and why have they taken us? I don't know. Neither the motives of our captors, nor a means of escape, or nor a means of escaping this hell. All I know is that with some effort, you can at least live out your days together in the same space, and that alone is a fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater when working together. No! Eek! N Naomi, run! We have to get out of here now! Uh, okay. <sighs> Are you all right, Seiko? Yeah, yeah, but what the hell was that? A child spirit? It did kind of glow. <gasps> glow in the dark. Three letter agent. I never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there. No, it's just the IRS. Help me. Help me. Judging by size, this appeared to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Misatu Municipal Brotherhood Senior High School, Class 3-4. Yoshiyuki Shinohara. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, oh god! What the hell is this? <gasps> it's horrifying. It's like somebody was thrown from the other end of the hall at superhuman speed and just splattered everywhere. Oh, it smells so meaty. That is the weirdest word you could use to describe a rotting carcass. The mostly bleached skeletal remains of female student light sprawled across the floor. How do you know it's female? Are you two, are you two like, uh, you know, morticians? You can recognize hip bone structure? Is there just an intact boob? I, I can't, I don't know. I can't tell. That's kind of funny if that's true. Looks like there really have been a lot of different people brought here. Wonder how many? It'll work out for us, though. I'm sure of it. Uh, ha, ha, ha. You wish to leave this place? You must take heed of the messages left behind by the many other victims who've died here. Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on the scrapes of paper that litter these walls. It hurts. It hurts so much. My head is splitting. It's unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it! When we found Yuzuha's body, I saw a black shadow, but I didn't tell anybody about it. And now, it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so so- The lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. The skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull are still sitting in, on the chair. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Oh, give me the purple! Is that is that is that is that is that is that an epic item? Give me loot, master, so I can just take everything. When we come back in, it jumps to the front. So how about one of us waits for it over there? Wait, what? Ha ha! Damn it! Ah, there we go. Almost got it. Ah, gotcha! Naomi, I got it! You did? Nice job. Turned out to be this. Infirmary key? I was hoping you'd be Girthalak, Voice of the Deeps. There's a partially bleached skeleton sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag this time. Based on the gore-soaked remains of the uniform and the length of, length of the hairs scattered around the head, it's safe to say this is a female student. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. I'm a goner, sis. The tendons in my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please, don't give up. I want you to keep living for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far. 
in the hope that you can use this information to help keep yourself safe. Oh, thanks. So you didn't write down that document, like, right here for us? Really? Really now? The doors have fixed the wall like a decoration. It won't open. There's an erratic noise, like that of TV static coming from within. You know, it had been really cool and creepy if, like, the closer we got to this thing, the we started actually hearing the static. That would have been really cool. There's a crippled piece of paper on the ground that seems to have fallen from the corpse's lifeless hand. God will surely say me. Laboratories. Boys' room to the left. Girls' room at the end of the hall. Fuck you. This is where they suck each other's dicks. The drain is completely stopped up with long strands of black hair and the basin is filled with dirty water. <laughs> the faucet makes an unpleasant sound of clanging pipes when the handle is turned but no water comes out. The drain is completely stopped up with long strands of black hair. What? There's a clump of unidentifiable meat inside the rusted bucket, completely crawling with maggots. <laughs> What? Is this a real... Is this a mistranslat... What? Do you have any of that ass medicine on you by any chance? You know, the smeary stuff? What? Again? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Yup, my butt's been trier in a desert since we got here. Well, I've got some antibacterial cream if that'll work. Thanks, I'm gonna go butter my pooper. <laughs> what? What? Yay! Do you have any shame at all? What? Seiko? Hmm? Ah, nothing. Just checking to make sure you're here. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't leave. <laughs> like she'll fucking die. Shut the goddamn door. What? What the hell? Am I hearing things? Seiko? Hmm? Ah, uh, nothing. Just checking to make sure you're here. Sorry for the wait. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. Put her there. Uh... No problem. Hey, wait! Was that stall open? Hmm? I thought that stall was locked when we were in here before. Was it? I didn't have any trouble getting in. Fine, I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about, after all. I actually just heard Yuka's voice out in the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. Really? Let's go check it out. Right. The reason that line was so funny and weird is because that is not a thing I've ever imagined even thinking in my brain. Naomi, are you okay? That was a close one. Nah, my leg. Thanks for lending me a hand. No problem. I'm just glad you didn't fall. Seems like you sprained your ankle pretty badly, though. We should find you some place to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for the time being. Thanks, I owe you one, Seiko. Think nothing of it. Chair? 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 If you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise, no nirvana, just eternal pain. Ugh. Why did I have to die like that? Ugh. Ugh. Man, it would have sucked if I was here and I died of my kidney stones. Required unknown key. So, we'll feel the same pain of death forever? Yeah, you'll get gold experience requiemed. Ah! Unknown key seems to fit the lock perfectly. Oof! Huh? Naomi, what's wrong? I don't know, it's like... 
My heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I really have a bad feeling about this room. Oh, trust me, it'll be just fine. I mean, it's a locked door. You know what that means, right? Booty! Behind every locked door lies hidden treasure, just waiting to be claimed. Can you hear it calling to you? I feel like this character- I feel like- I feel like she died on the shitter and has been replaced with a doppelganger. Eep! Ugh, another dead body. A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. I really think we should just leave this room. Something's not right in here. Uh, okay, but I don't know. I'm really curious about that newspaper now. Can't we just take one little peek? No. I don't want to touch the paper, but the game makes me feel like it's my only choice. No, we're f Ugh, there's gotta- come on. This can't be like a lin- this can't be a completely linear pathway, right? And you know what? We'll save first, and then we'll go do it. Now we'll go do it. And we'll just- we'll just go back to our previous save if we want to avoid the repercussions of our actions. Every game is just Skyrim. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details and the recent wave of disappearances are re revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now, investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 8th, 1973 at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses had its tongue sued and removed unique mutilations far too gr to describe. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! From Whistleblower, where the guy's trying to cut your dick off. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Like, if this is an elementary school, shouldn't these high school girls be able to pick up, like, these chairs and these desks and, like, break the windows? Like, come on. Like, something. Literally anything. There's no way out. Oh, what do we do? This is your fault, you know. What? How? Just, never mind. Rattle, rattle. Oh. Oh, man. That scared the crap out of me. Ugh. <sighs> Hold up. Oh, no. No, it's gone. What is? The paper doll scrap I got from Ayumi. Oh, the charm? Mine's still in my student ID holder. Crap, I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I keep telling you, you need to put things away before they get lost. Now I'm sad. You're a dumbass. I still don't know where to go. Like, I have the infirmary key, but I don't have anything else. You know, you probably dropped it. You probably dropped it in the shitter, you dumb motherfucker. I guess I'll try going this way. Oh, God! I, I stepped in it! Ew, you did? H here, I've got some tissues. Maybe you could wipe it off. Oh, these are definitely somebody's guts! And when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. Like I just plopped into my shoe into a juicy pile of dog shit. Oh god, that's way too much information. You're gonna make me puke. S sorry. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. I could take one or two bottles with me, but I'd probably just end up breaking them and cutting myself. Besides, I don't trust anything in here. Say- what? Naomi, you need to sit the fuck down. It literally said that you need to sit the, sit the fuck down. 
all tucked away in the corner like that? I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. That's relatable. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm exactly the same way. I wonder if there's anything here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm going to take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't take me yet. I haven't done anything. You haven't done anything but shit? I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. That sprain's a goner. Now hold still. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. A splint doesn't help much, I don't think, if you have to keep fucking walking on the sprain. A split, like, you still need crutches. Or you need to just lay down and elevate it. You can't just put a splint on and then be like, haha, I can walk now. So, hey, Naomi. Hmm? If we might find Mochita, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Eh? Well, you know that they say, when two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say, it often leads to love, sweet love. You should... You should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place, and your cuteness factor will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet. <laughs> Snork. I swear with you, Rand, I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. Hee <laughs> hee. Hope we'll find him soon. Uh-huh. You kind of don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to put be put through all of this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering around here, am I right? That's surprisingly strong insight. Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Guess there's no fooling Seiko. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. <sighs> and what was that exactly? Uh, sorry, just when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool. <laughs> You are so weird. Big brother! Sob, sob. Oh, also, obligatory gay! That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Just keep Daz parked on that bed. You got it? Well, but look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. All right, I guess I'll stay here. Seiko is so fucking dead. Mm, my ankle really does feel a lot better. Seiko has a definite knack for caretaking. <sighs> Miss Yui and the others. Satoshi, I wonder what they're all doing right now. I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. Hmm, who ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Who ever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Eek! Save me, eek! Don't be an ass, Yoshiki. Okay, okay, let's not have any fight. Is this a fucking flashback? Okay, okay, let's not have any fighting. I have to admit, though, his reaction was awfully cute. But... <laughs> Oof. Obligatory. Roblox. Oof. On closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. What? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? It won't budge. It's as if it's been completely fastened to the wall through invisible bonds. Hee 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 hee. Ha 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 ha. Are those children? There's a lamp on the desk, but it doesn't seem to work. Flipping the switch does nothing. 
My head hurts so bad. I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Then why... Why isn't the game showing us that? The door is lattice with countless strands of black air rooting it in place. Naomi is so fucking dead. Is someone there? It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. The fuck, game? Have you come to find me? What? What the? Yeet! She is so fucking dead. <laughs> it's no use! Where did this hair come from? God help me! Wait, wait, scissors. There are scissors. There are scissors. Previously inoperable desk lamp now shines an unnatural, almost ethereal glow. Scratch, 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 scratch. Haphazardly scrawled short and begins to appear in the journal on the desk. As if it's being written by unseen hands, the letters are so mi misshapen and inconsistent, however, that they're completely illegible. There were scissors earlier, motherfucker! What if I just keep trying? This isn't going to work. I'll need more than just matches to burn through all of this. Isn't there anything super flammable in here? <laughs> Curtains? After the ha after hastily splashing the alcohol all along the edges of the door, Naomi lit a match in an attempt to burn through the seemingly endless strands of hair. There we go. With a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul-smelling heat, the hair lit up and then, then hardened and fell away, freeing the door and allowing it to open. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, I went to click on the curtains or the, or the bed sheets, and it, I didn't get anything. <gasps> I'm going to kill you. Woo! What happened? Are you okay? Seiko. Sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. Blech. Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. You need to me to rub your back? I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Did you find Yuka? Huh-uh? Looks like... Huh-uh? No, it's uh-huh or... Huh? What the fuck? Huh-uh? What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should consider that room off the limits from here on out, though. That's fine, I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we better keep moving, then. Can you stand? Yeah... But, where are you supposed to go? Hmm, well... We've already been pretty much everywhere we can go. Oh fuck, I accidentally skipped that. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. Damn it. There I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. N Naomi, come on, it's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Last two Niners oh, never say die, right? We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. And then in the afternoon, what say you and I go get our bikes fi fixed? Sounds like a plan, right? If we make it back alive, sure. Seiko, what am I doing? She's too autistic. I just can't seem to hold back. 
Naomi, are you like super duper tired or something? This is so not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Tell me, how long is it going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? Have you given any thought to it at all? We'll figure something out? That's a crock and you know it. Hate, 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 hate. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. I thought I'd be keeping Seiko's spirits up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was berating her, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. And I was crying out, irrationally, and couldn't stop. I don't know, kind of being stressed in this scenario is kind of rational. Venomous words were flowing from my mouth as if someone had turned on a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can, whatever you can, to make her proud. You just want to, so you do. Seiko is the one whose mom died, right? I think that's... I can't believe I remembered that, but... I immediately got a glimpse into what she's fucking saying, if that's the case. What is wrong with me? Seiko's mom... Oh, right, yeah. Seiko's mom disappeared several years ago, I know that. So why am I putting it through... putting her through all this grief? That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normal people don't work that way. Naomi. Sorry, how about we split up? We can cover more ground this way. Maybe find a clue to help us get out of here. Seems the most efficient plan of attack. Don't you think? Who? Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad and you and everybody else. And I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. Seiko, I, I, I'm... I'm so... I... I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. This is always a bad idea. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. Give me a candle to save the game! I want a candle. Give me a candle. I think I just heard somebody calling out. Call the voice? Sure. Let's kill ourselves. That was the first time, huh? The first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. The first and your last. <clears throat> Seriously, imagine how weak you must be to use fucking dung butter. Just, just take the pain, just... I just kept calling her name over and over again. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. I want a candle. I need to be done. Seiko! Seiko, where are you? Come on, Seiko, don't leave me by myself in here! Holy shit. Seiko? Is that you? Okay, I'm moving by myself. I feel like she's gonna be a splatter. Oh no, she's shitting herself to death. Oh no, she hung herself. Hanged herself. The stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. <gasps> it 
Psycho. No! Why? Why? No, no! Naomi. me. He's alive. Seiko, you're alive. Hold on, I'll get you down. What? Ah, sorry. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? The noose around Seiko's neck is attached directly to the ceiling, and there's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help her help are just strangling her further. Okay. I might be able to use this as a footstool. Clangs. <laughs> this is so revolting. But if it saves Seiko. <laughs> significant number of maggots have found their way into Naomi's hands and skirt. Acquired filthy bucket. Because she's stupid, that's why. Seiko, I'm right here. The filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. Too late. With blank eyes, Seiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. Can I please get a fucking save? Ah! No! 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 I can't in good conscience like completely act out the exact intensity. <laughs> Why? Why would you hang yourself? Because you fucking yelled at her. You were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. <laughs> Say something! Wah, Seiko. I want to apologize to you for what I said. Up until just a few hours ago... Up until just a few hours before, I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now, here she was, right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. This can't happen. Continued in Chapter 2. 